using Moto has been uh, resealed. We have replaced all the o-ring. Now it's done. But I'm gonna let this swing motor sit here along with the control valve and also the center joint. So just now the center joint also have been resealed. And later on um, we will do the installation because we wanted to clean this area first. There's a lot of that uh, and it's so dirty here. So we need to clean this area first and then after that, after we have cleaned it, then we will install the center joint first, swing motor, and then after that will be the control valve. motor is all the component the friction plate the brake uh, cylinder block shaft uh, plunger valve plate and yeah shoes plate this one so the travel motor actually doesn't have any problem uh, just that we need to uh, reseal also there is no leaking actually on the travel motor but somehow we need to do the maintenance to replace all the seal because some of the seal actually are worn out already so I guess um, maybe after a few a few weeks of working I think uh, the travel motor will have a leaking problem if we doesn't do the reseal as for now okay so both of the travel motor we will do the reseal replace all the seal and also the final drive we do the servicing yes uh, there is one Oil seal right here in the middle 
which is to prevent the gel oil and also the hydro oil from mixing this is the oil seal right here this is all the gear still in good um, still in a good condition there is no problem still in good shape so yeah everything is okay on this travel motor and also the final drive just we need to do the maintenance the machine has already been sitting for uh, quite some some time maybe a few years more than five years I guess so basically the travel motor is the reverse function of the hydraulic main pump so all of the component actually is is quite similar on to the main pump so the main pump also have the cylinder block, the plunger, the shaft, the swash plate except for the brake the pump doesn't have the brake the brake is to make sure that uh, the track will stop whenever we release the handle for the track so this is the bar plate and the bar plate is the component that is separate the two sides of the um, travel motor which is this side is to rotate uh, is to rotate clockwise and this side is to uh, to rotate anti-clockwise okay but for the pump it basically is the is a di different kind of operation which is the pump will be separate into two one is the suction and another one is the pressure uh, is the production of the pressure and for the travel motor is different the pressure will go in either on this side or this side and this bar plate will separate the two movement which is the rotation on the right and also rotation on the left and after that the motor will apply a mechanical power to the final drive to the gearbox and the gearbox will then rotate and the track will move 